Once I was a great. No, please, no! And no one dared to stand in my way. I traveled the land searching for a worthy battle. Until I discovered the gates of shadows. I broke the laws of the elders and opened the gates. We at last, suckers! The world were beyond them. They rushed upon me, tearing my flesh, draining my soul, turning me into a shadow. What is good my ninjas, Kevboy Productions here, and welcome to our new playthrough, well potentially, um, Shadow Fight. Um, I have, as you can see, already played this game. I used to play this uh, back in the day, and I wanted to see if I can play it with you guys on the channel, and I wanted to know if you guys would um, enjoy me playing this. Now the thing is, I also don't know the full story but as you can see this man is uh trying to kill all the demons that he let out from the gates of shadows and we gotta play as shadow himself level him up get some good weapons to defeat these guys in order to save the world and you know your boy master ninja kevin is out here trying to save the world now as you can see this was the first villain his name was lynx he was a pretty tough opponent. You didn't really miss much. I gained his weapons and I defeated him and I moved on. So the plan is to defeat every boss until we can get to the Gates of Shadows. And yeah, pretty much if you guys want to, you know, leave like, let's say let we get three likes or so, I can continue playing this. But if not, we'll go back to Uncharted. And yeah, so... With no further ado, I'm going to show you guys the gameplay and the story throughout, and yeah, that's pretty much it. First, I got to put on the perks that I, I need. Yeah, your weapon is falling apart. You should buy a new one. What I wanted to do was just show you the variety of weapons you can get to fight your enemies, but it's always best to level up and use the most current weapons you have, unless you don't have enough money, like me, because, you know, I'm free to play, so... I'm gonna have to wait a while until I can actually get all the good stuff. That's no biggie, because you know, your boy don't need the good stuff to beat all the bosses. It's pretty good that I started uh, farther into the story because I have all these new unlocks and just fighting with these basic things, it was pretty annoying. Also, you get enchantments for, through your weapons in combat, which I think is pretty good. Basically, you have to fight all the boss's bodyguards until you can get to the main boss. But the thing is, here's the catch. In order to reach the next bodyguard, you have to level up and stuff like that. And grinding is pretty long, which is the letdown of this game. But I won't let that uh, get the best of me because, you know, Master Ninja... <laughs> yeah, Master Ninja is all I got to say. Let's start it. No one should possess such power. This competition is pointless. I will win. The secret will end with me. This sucker name is Mantis. I can tell he sucks. What type of fighting stance is that? But this guy got nothing on me. Look at that. Gonna be 
Breathe it out of you. Look at that, bro. Weapon is already gone. Let me throw my shirt again. What? It went through him. It went through him, bro. Look at that. I'm a master ninja, bro. Nobody can touch me. Go for the legs. And it also depends on what weapon you have, which you have to strategize with. Because you got to be careful with um, what you do. I don't know what I was saying, but <laughs> pretty much what I mean is you have to... The weapons given to you, you gotta know how to use them at least, or have some type of way to strategize with how you fight against your opponent, because you can be at a disadvantage. Oh shoot. Okay. And you gotta be, you have to predict their movements, but for me, I don't really predict, I like to be aggressive as much as possible. And as you can see, that's the first boss down. And the feeding bosses, they give you a bunch of XP to, to rank up and level up, especially a lot of money, which we're going to need to upgrade our weapons to either fight the bosses, the bodyguards, with the current weapons we have, or to just level up and get better weapons and upgrade them. Heed my warnings. Magic has no place in martial arts. It dirties the mind, clouds the focus, and in the wrong hands it can bring destruction and despair. Magic. So that that is Hermit's great secret. Beware, my apprentice. Magic is dangerous and powerful. It should not be used. <laughs> Sensei is right, Shadow. Magic is too dangerous to allow just anyone to have it. But you, imagine what you will be capable of with such a power. Ah, here we go with the freaking ads again. All right, so as you can see, every time we defeat a bodyguard, we get a certain uh, type of dialogue that progresses us through the story and pretty much they were talking about magic we have to defeat hermit to unlock magic and so once we do that we're pretty much being able to do like fireball jutsus and all that stuff how do i know i don't but i'm pretty sure we can do like cool magic tricks and whatever <laughs> but yeah I, I can't wait to actually beat hermit so we can actually use weapons and get the full arsenal of everything because that's all I see pretty much so far in what we have in the weapons menu. Survival, I use this to actually gain money and duel is the same thing. You can gain money and stuff for enchantment which actually levels up your weapons and whatnot. Gives them like these cool, basically stuff like this. I don't even know what I'm saying but basically stuff like this time bomb and more other enchantments that you can get from them like these all right and oh shoot i need to compete in a tournament now of course when you are playing duel before you just fought somebody with a random weapon but now they're giving you like things that you need to be careful with and as you can see I'm getting clapped okay I'm getting slapped I'm getting slapped oh god yeah what you got what it do sucker what it do with these kicks sucker oh yeah I forgot to mention that you also get perks for leveling up too come on what's up what's up buddy Yay! Let me hit him with a Leaf Hurricane real quick. Leaf Rowan. Leaf Hurricane. Ah, shoot. Oh, did you see that? Alright, let me uh, let me chill out real quick. Oh my God, he did not just one punch me in the nuts. Look at that feet power. Feet power. Let's go. Yeah. I will say though. This stuff is low-key fun, like, I like the ragdoll physics and whatnot, and the movements that they use with the weapons. I like how you gotta strategize with using the weapons and how you fight your opponent, because sometimes they'll have a better weapon than you, and, like, you just gotta... <laughs> sometimes I be spamming, but you just gotta, like, you gotta know what to do and, like, how to counter them, and I think that's a nice thing to do. Shock doesn't always happen most of the time, but you gotta do a really clean hit on them to make them lose their weapons and you cannot get it back after losing your weapons which is the sad part but now watch this yeet yeet 
Yay! Look at me, Master Ninja, bro. Kevin can't lose. The only sad thing about Shadow Fight though is the stupid ads. So I gotta be cutting off like most of the cool stuff that you get to see. But yeah, this is pretty much what um, the perks are. And you get to pick certain perks. Now, I went for mostly a defense and critical, if, you, if that makes sense. Pretty much Cobra, it gives me a chance to do high damage at the beginning of the match for three seconds. I gotta be quick with it, which is that little marker thing that pops under my health. Rock, it makes me withstand critical hits and return most of that damage back to my enemy, which is really good so I don't get knocked down and comboed. Helmet Breaker, I pretty much can do headshot damage, which I'm pretty good at doing headshot damage, which gives me another chance to do another headshot damage and damage somebody. Then if we go down to the underworld, this is where the magic low-key happens because you can get awesome rewards playing raids and whatnot. You have to break their shield and pretty much fight them as a final boss and you level up and you get weapons for collecting these chests and, and stuff like that. But yeah, this was just a mini showcase of what Shadow Fight has in store. If you do like this video, make sure to of course like comment and subscribe so you can see more of this shadow fight video if not we can do other things make sure to comment to tell me what you would like to see on the channel and recommendations for what i should do especially since this is a mobile game but other than that 